Make sure that Canadians are equipped and tooled. Trudeau. We've invested. You know, he can get very breathy. You might remember that, Mr. Singh, you might remember that. And some. look off and look down. <laughs> uh, we, you, we. And get quite flustered on the whole. Voting for Green MPs is your very best guarantee. Arrogant is the over display of vulnerable or kill points on the body. Don't get the government Mr. you Mr. want. Mr. And so when she displays that neck area, it can often look arrogant to people. I'm Mark Bowden. I'm an expert in human behavior and body language. I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the leaders' debate. We make a lot of our judgments about somebody based on what we see. Mr. Trudeau, you... So we're judging them during the debate because on the whole, as, as smart as we might be or think we are, we often don't quite understand policy. We need to make a vote. How are we going to decide, well, what did we think of their behavior? How have we judged them? from protectionism to fear-based politics to the transformative technological change people are facing. We need so just one hand up we've got there, that asymmetry. Uh, he's clocking the camera, which is great, looking straight down the camera, but that asymmetry is more confusing to watch. It's better if he got both hands up and had some symmetry like he's doing just there, but again, it drops down again. Mr. Shear, you might remember that, Mr. Singh, you might remember that summer I'm very, uh, very argument different from over, Mr. Shear. Over, you got I it, you got yeah. it. I mean, you... Yeah, so one of the things that happens when he goes for this asymmetry and he looks down and he's got this erratic rhythm is it destabilizes him. And, and there's an example of the destabilization where he can't remember whether it's seeing or Trudeau, and that happens a couple of times for him. Again, if he did more symmetry, he'd be in more control, he'd slow down. He's got quite a fast tempo, it's been speeding up throughout uh, you know, the history of, of the election. Uh, so we can see he's a little bit flustered, a little bit on the back foot. Again, he could do with just slowing down, coming into symmetry to be a little more prime ministerial, a little more assured, calm and assertive. We are the People's Party and we put Canada first. The other leaders on this stage are globalists. Well, here's an example of where he doesn't really quite know where he wants to look. Should he look at the camera? Should he look at others? Should he look at the moderator? And again, the audience needs something way more consistent there. So he's just difficult to watch, or certainly more difficult than others. That will lower the first bracket. What you are doing, that will save what you are doing, $850 what you are doing. for the average I, income. So yeah, you can hear him off at the sideline, uh, trying to interrupt. He's given eye contact, and so he takes over. If you start giving the person jumping in eye contact, they're just going to take the ball and run with it. What the other leaders should have been doing, I believe, is not giving eye contact around that kind of behavior. You, you don't reward with eye contact the behavior interruption. Just ignore. In fact, uh, you know, Sheer later on starts using some chop gestures on him to, to quieten him down. There are a bunch of gestures in nonverbal which are about closing people down, telling them to stop, and the chop can be one of those. Justin Trudeau only pretends to stand up for Canada. You know, he's very good at pretending things. He can't even remember how many times he... Okay, here's an example of where he's going instantly for symmetry there. It's much easier to watch if the body is straight onto the camera, looking down the camera, symmetrical in its actions, very, very clear. The hands are moving with the rhythm of his speech. It's just easier for the brain to listen and watch. So. Quite a good job there from Cher. Tax cheats. You called entrepreneurs who have created jobs and opportunities in our society tax cheats. So what he's doing is confronting him clearly with the accusations here. And again, we're getting those chop gestures and then he comes out to the audience with his policy. So accuses directly to Justin Trudeau directly to him and then looks down the camera in order to give policy. Again, good clarity there, easier to understand. To me, leadership is about who you're fighting for, the choices you make, and whether you're doing what's right for people. Now, once again, clear asymmetry there, and it's not helping that he keeps having a pen in his hand. He's got this prop, the pen that he keeps going for. It's, it's, a, it's a comfort to him to have something tactile in his hand there. And it means one side of his body is always doing something different than the other. More confusing for the brain to watch, more neural load. You could have just said, hey man, I messed up. 
because those are pretty horrible tweets that you made. His tempo is great, actually. You know, he's, he's a lot slower than many of the others, so he's not getting wound up in that argumentative feel. He's managing to stay really quite calm and assertive, but it may be because he's got that tactile pacifier in his hand to keep him calm around this quite aggressive situation that eventually was coming about in this debate as a whole. Canada's role in the world is an enviable one. We have a historic reputation for being an honest broker. Okay, one of the troubles with May here is there's a lot to look at when you look at her image. There's the reflection on the glasses, so we can't quite see into the eyes there. The earrings, the necklace, the pattern on the shirt. There's so much to look at. It's tough to look right down the eyes and not get distracted. You need to keep the look fairly clean and well-framed. May has so much going on. Uh, she really needs to hone that down to a really clear frame for people to get her message from. But let's face it, right now, Indigenous peoples, the Assembly of First Nations are telling us their number one concern is the climate. And we get with May often is that chin will come up and people often feel that looks a little bit arrogant. Arrogant is the over display of vulnerable or kill points on the body in close proximity. And so when she displays that neck area, it can often look arrogant to people, especially when the hand comes up in this form of kind of teaching gesture. Tricky for her, uh, only female on the, on the stage, uh, it's not tried and tested how you show up as the potential female Prime Minister. So uh, it's very difficult to know exactly how to play it and, and get it exactly right when there aren't a huge amount of role models out there for her. So she's testing new ground here. So congratulations because incredibly good job but needs to get it tighter and that frame easier to comprehend the message from. Having leadership or showing leadership sometimes mean not making mistakes. Well, the interesting thing there is how slow he's going with his words. Very calm, uh, not necessarily assertive, but very, very calm there. Taking the tempo right down, the vocal tone right down. So a, a bit of a calm in the storm that was going on there. However, it meant that it would take him quite a long time to get his ideas out, even to the extent that it triggered May at one point to believe that he'd been cut off too early and hadn't had enough time. So people may Thank you very recognize much, themselves Mr. Blanchett. I'm into sorry, you're out of time. Mr. Trudeau. It's 40 seconds for each leader. I'm sorry, it has moved on to 40. He was so slow at times, he really didn't get his meaning out. May at times runs on sentences, doesn't take a breath, I, you know, get so many words into, into uh, a, a tiny, tiny portion that it's difficult to work out what she's saying. Trudeau is the same. I think Shear took the middle ground there and, and Singh as well probably played it about right for the amount of words per minute to any unit of meaning. I would try and stay away from argument, stay calm and assertive, try and work out how you're gonna come across as the next Prime Minister. What do people need to see in order to put that X by your name? My guess is it's not arguments, it's calm and assertive, symmetry, easy to understand. That's what I'd be going for.